Hello friends, welcome to X Amity and Smriti Notes for Biotechnology. In today's lecture, we will study biostats for biotechnologists and the topics to be covered are types of distribution that is normal, poison and binomial. For biostats, theory is very, very, very important. Most of the questions in the question paper are theory based. For every topic, you're supposed to have a short note on it. I'll be covering the theory part with all the important formulas. So let's start with normal distribution. It is defined as continuous frequency distribution of infinite range. For example, height, blood pressure, measurement error and IQ scores are all measured by normal distribution. It is also called as the bell curve or symmetrical curve. Now let's look into the parameters that is the mean, mode and the median. All three are equal in normal distribution. I have shown in the diagram that the mean, median, mode at the point are all equal in the normal distribution. Now what does mean means and what the standard deviation means i will discuss this in the next video in detail but for the time being just you can go through these both terms mean is calculated from mean median and mode it is basically the average computed of the given data and standard deviation is calculated only from mean next feature is empirical rule which says 68 percent of the data falls under one standard deviation of the mean 95% of the data falls within second standard deviation and 99.7% of the data falls within the third standard deviation of the mean. And the total area under the curve is 1. Normal distribution can be used in sampling theory and can be used to approximate the binomial and poison distribution. The z value that is the normal distribution value is where mu is the mean and sigma is the standard deviation and z means the standard normal distribution for numerical part you can see in the description box i have shared several links you can use those links to solve the numerical part next is binomial distribution the word binomial that is by bi means two or twice it is simply the probability of a success or failure outcome in an experiment or survey that is repeated multiple times. The distribution that has two possible outcomes is called as binomial distribution. Binomial distribution must also meet some following criteria. They can be like the number of observations or trial has to be fixed. That is, there are only two possible outcomes on each trial, that is, either success or failure. The number of trials should be finite and small. And the trail or events must be repeated under identical conditions, so that they are the same. Now we will look under the properties, which say, says, the mean of binomial distribution is NPQ, whereas for standard deviation, it is under root of NPQ. And as the N increases, the binomial distribution becomes smoother and approximates to the normal curve. Binomial distribution is symmetrical, that is, P is equal to Q, that is 0 0.5. If P is less than 0 0.5, then it is positively skewed. And if P is greater than 0 0.5, it is negatively skewed. There are many properties. I have mentioned the link. You can go through the link and get any three to four properties which you feel are easy for you to remember. This is the formula for binomial distribution where n is number of trials, p is probability of success, q is probability of failure and x is the probability of getting success out of n independent success. And to find out n cx we use the factorial that is n factorial upon n minus x factorial into x factorial and then we substitute the formula into the original formula and we get the binomial distribution. If you have problem in solving the numericals, do comment and let me know. I'll teach you how to use binomial theorem as well. Next type of distribution is Poisson distribution. It helps you to predict the probability of certain events from happening when you know 
how often the event has occurred and it gives us the probability of the given number of events that has happened in fixed interval of time that is it basically represents probability distribution of discrete and random variables of rare events where probability occurrence is very small when n is very large and p is very small then the np is constant and it tends to poisson distribution in poisson distribution the mean and the variance are equal the conditions required for poisson distribution are the random variable should be discrete p should always be small probability distribution function of poisson distribution is given as probability of x success is equal to e raised to power minus m m raised to power x and divided by factorial x where m is the mean x is number of success and e is 2.718 it is used to calculate number of bacterial colonies per unit area for the numerical part practice you can go to the description box and use the links given there for any other doubt do comment and let me know and do not forget to like share and subscribe Thank you.